Oh. His biggest dick and a guy. Oh my god. Oh. Long shorts. Like down, like like, like, like past your knees. Yeah. Mine is if he has like a piece of paper that he drops and the wind's blowing it away and he's like trying to go after the piece of paper in the wind. Or he he respects the earth. Though. Wow, that's a long list of icks. Well, I can't say I blame them for having a lot of icks. I blame us. I blame men. We make these women feel as though they have a lot of options. The more simps we have among us, the longer the list of icks will be. These women are in their mid-twenties, I think. Explains why they have a lot of options and unreasonable icks. Wait till they reach 30 single. They'll accept any man with these icks. The fact of this matter is that men are the prize, and we, the prize, don't have ics. We call them red flags. If you're obese, you're a red flag. If you are a single mother, you're a red flag. If you don't know how to cook, you're a red flag. If you're a boss babe, you're a red flag. If you're a toxic feminist, you're a red flag. If you have a high body count, you're a red flag. The funniest thing about men's red flags is that every man has the same list. Men's red flags are even the bare minimum for decent women. But these women have 90-something icks. These modern women really need to work on themselves before they reach 30. And if they reach 30 single, I pity the man that they'll settle for. Constant whining about her icks that even their dog will want to cover his ears. These marriages where these women end up settling for a man never last. If you ever want to marry, marry a young woman not a woman that has been fucked on different yachts. Do whatever you want with this information. Hello? Yeah. What's up? What you doing? Nine. Uh, what, what, what you ate today? Nine. How your day was? Nine. Hey, bro, go ahead and charge. Yeah, charge right here. I can... See, bro, see, that's why I don't like being on the phone with you because I'm on the phone with you. Every time I get on the phone with you, you want to talk to somebody else. Like, what? Dang. Oh. I mean, what's up? What's up? Talk to me. What, what you want to talk about? Nine. I can relate to this. While I was still in the dating scene, I would want to start a conversation with these women. They would start giving one-word replies. One would think the woman doesn't want to talk to him. But in truth, these women are clueless about what they want. They expect men to know everything without asking. They want us to know when their no means yes, when their yes means no, when their no means no, and when their yes means yes. Bullocks. No man has time for this anymore. If you can't tell me what you want, Get the fuck off my line. No bad energy over here. There are over one billion women in this world, so allow one woman to start whining on the phone with you. You're the prize. Remember that. I decided to ask my best friend if he could pick up my meds from the pharmacy for me. And I felt awful about it because I didn't want to create a burden. And he was so kind and understanding. And he just said, it's not a problem. I just want you to feel better. And in that moment, I burst, burst into tears because I am not used to being taken care of. And he wanted to take care of me. And after a lifetime of just being sick on my own, <laughs> the experience of having somebody want to take care of you, Feminism, feminism, feminism. Any time I hear that word, I hear cries of women who have been sold that lie. That lie of independence. They sold that boss babe lie to these women to the extent that they never felt the love and care of a man. I don't need no man to care for me. I can take care of myself. But you want a man to change your tires. You want him to fix the doorknob. You want him to get you your meds. 
How long till these modern women realize that these feminists are scamming them of their time and money? You keep buying revealing clothes and doing body part enlargements because these women told you so. My body, my choice. Even the government isn't left out. Before, you women weren't working, so you were not taxed. Only men were taxed. Now, the government is getting moneyed from both men and women. Oh my god, why are you single? You're too pretty to be single. Why are you single? I'm single because I have five kids. I like the fact that she knows why no man wants her. But then, five freaking kids from different fathers. What has the world become? Does she expect a single man earning $50,000 per year to fend for himself, her and her five kids? Even if you're a millionaire, you should still run from this type of woman. She doesn't want a lover, she wants a financial helper. She wants a guy who'll feed her and her kids. Don't be that guy. Men, you need to know what you're dealing with on this dating scene. The street isn't smiling. This is, this is me putting Mia Khalifa behind me and this is me like trying to be a real human. Um, did not work. Everyone in the office recognized me. It was a very uncomfortable work environment. Not. I've been following Mia Khalifa's story for a while. She likes playing the victim card. Well, well not that I didn't expect it. She's a woman. Does she think that just because she has turned a new leaf, the internet will forget all that she did? No, scratch that. Does she think that just because she claims to have turned a new leaf, the internet will forget all that she did? Mia, you're every man's woman now. You have to live with that. You chose to enter the adult film industry because it made you feel empowered. Where has that female empowerment gotten you now? Married three times and no husband, no kids, your parents have disowned you. What's your gain? All I can say is, good for you. Excuse me? I just need like a minute of your time. Um, what is it? So, basically, I'm giving a presentation on reasons you should be my girlfriend. I mean business, as you can see. I'm offering you 50% stake <laughs> in my heart, so we just can't tell my other partners. Okay. If you're cool with that? Yeah. Next slide. I'm not a fucking nerd. Oh, okay. I thought you were. You thought I was a nerd? Yeah, I thought. But that, that makes sense. And you're cute. I mean, I guess that's pretty self-explanatory. So, be my girlfriend? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Next slide. Who are you? Oh. Can I put my phone number in your phone? Sure. <laughs> Why not? My name's Brady, by the way. What's your name? You. Barbara. I'm gonna just put it as your boyfriend. No, but really, who are you guys? I'm your boyfriend. Yeah. Okay, Barbara. Nice See you later. To meet you. Good to meet you. It's my girlfriend right there. Don't approach me whenever I'm alone in the park. Don't approach me if you are ugly. Don't walk up to me, you creep. Do these phrases sound familiar? God forbid I approach a woman. The next thing I know, I'm surrounded by cops because they think I'm a dangerous man. You won and asked for the Me Too movement. You've got what you want. Now you deal with it. No man is going to approach you. Either you approach him or install a dating app. It is too risky for men when we know that the word creep to you depends on whether you find us attractive or not. No man wants to deal with all that bullshit. I met my husband when I was 24 and we got married when I was 29. I thought that this was like the ideal situation. I met the perfect age to get married. But what I realized was in the four years that we were married, I grew so much as a person. I graduated from business school, started my own business. I just became such a different person that I didn't feel like he was the best fit for me anymore. I, don't I married early, used my husband to advance my career. Suddenly, he wasn't the best fit for me anymore, so I divorced him. I married him and let myself go. I got fat. My husband supported me, and I had weight loss surgery. Suddenly, I don't love my husband anymore, so I divorce him. I'm tired of hearing these depressing stories. Men, you're not Captain Save a Ho. You're not a prince meant to save that woman in that tower. Let her be. Went to a singles mixer. And only women showed up. Singles events. Girl, get in free, drink all you want, take my wallet. Men, 
you want in? Chop off a leg and pay us $500. Is it any wonder no guy wants to go? Where are all the men? Enjoying their lives, ignoring you, avoiding your bullshit attitude, saving money, looking forward to things, focusing on their goals, smiling, using common sense, and making mature decisions. Do we also have to say that the majority of the women who attend these singles events are either divorcees, single mothers, or obese women? Only a crazy man would want to be with any of these women. 70% of second marriages fail. I'm sure a lot of men who would likely attend a singles event are also divorced. Single mothers are a big red flag. Obese women are a no-no. So which woman is left at the event? No one. Some of these single mothers even bring their kids to these events. They want men to feed their kids. No wonder men jump through the windows when they see a single mother. Guys, stay safe. Know what you're dealing with on this dating scene. That's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.